Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all new GameSir G8 USB Type-C gaming controller for Android and now iPhone 15 and up. So I've got a few devices that I want to test with this. We've got the Red Magic 8 Pro S. We're also going to be testing it out with the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So this is a controller I've been waiting on for a little while now, and we've taken a look at a lot of the GameSir controllers on the channel, and they're definitely some of my favorite mobile controllers for Android. But now that Apple has added USB Type-C to the iPhone 15, we're going to see a lot of these controllers support the iPhone. And when it comes to game controllers in iOS, Apple has actually had some really good game controller compatibility over the last few years. All of their Apple Arcade games work with it, and most of the newer games that hit the market that aren't tap games do support a controller. And here it is, the GameSir G8 Galileo. This does have a couple special features built in, like hall-based joysticks and triggers. Plus, we can swap out these analog sticks. And in the past, we've seen, you know, toppers for the sticks that come included with some of these controllers. These are the full cap for the analog stick. The face plates actually come off of both sides and we can swap these out. Inside of this little box, we've just got a sticker and our user manual. And uh, we'll go ahead and remove these little protectors here. But if you're not familiar with these type of controllers, some people call them telescopic, some people call them stretchy. And that's because we've got a spring-loaded system right in the middle. Our phone will sit right in there. Round back, we've got two programmable buttons. This also supports pass-through charging, and it's got a 3.5mm audio jack. So right now with the G8, I think they're only offering one color variant. Who knows, in the future they might release a white or a black, but right now we've got this retro style, kind of SNES inspired. And when it comes to these telescopic controllers, a lot of them are kind of small. Now as you can see here, we've got the palm rest, like a full-size controller. And you know, to be comfortable, this is something that I like to see. I know it's a larger controller when you compare it to some of the others on the market. But to have that comfortability to be able to play for hours on end is something that I can definitely trade off on. And right where the palm rests are, we've got this nice texture. Actually goes all the way up the back here, so it's not going to slip out of your hand when you're gaming for long periods of time. And like I mentioned, right here on the bottom, USB Type-C power in for pass-through charging and the 3.5mm audio jack so we can plug headphones in. And you know, a lot of these newer phones on the market don't have a 3.5mm jack. You have to utilize USB Type-C. So this will add it right to your phone. Personally, I think the analog sticks that come pre-installed are the ones that I'm going to go with. But if you do want to swap them out, we've got three extras to choose from. We've got a convex, concave, and a smaller one. And to get in here, it's really easy. Basically, we're going to pull these face plates off. It does magnetically attach, and it's not going to go anywhere. I mean, it's not loose or anything like that. It does take a little bit of pressure to get them off. So you don't have to worry about them falling off in your backpack or anything like that. But as soon as we get this other one off, we can actually swap these analog sticks out. And basically, we're just going to pull them up, replace it with whichever one you'd like. Do the same for the left-hand side. I'll just go with this small one. Now, the small one isn't something I'm going to be using, but some people might want to have this. Once we're done, we just set these right back on. They lock in place with those magnets, and you're good to go give you a closer look in here and these are full size hall based analog sticks so if you're looking for those full size as opposed to the smaller ones like switch size then we've got them right here as for the USB type C connection as you can see here it is kind of spring loaded so you don't have to worry about breaking your USB type C port when you're taking your phone in and out of this there's plenty of playroom here and getting your phone installed is actually really easy I've got the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus here. This is actually a really nice device. It's an inexpensive device that I can definitely recommend for gaming and emulation. It's got the Dimensity 7200 Ultra CPU. And basically, we're just going to insert it right here with that USB Type-C port. Extend the other side of the controller. And there we have it. And the way GameSir has designed this, we've got plenty of room to clear those larger cameras. Even on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it does clear it quite nicely. I haven't done any setup with this Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus. I just plug the controller in. It's working in X input mode, and games that support controllers natively on Android are going to work. Here's Minecraft, one that has really good controller compatibility. Awesome control here. So, you know, if you just want to use it out of the box with your Android device, emulators and games that support controllers on Android are going to work. 
But there's actually a lot more to this controller that we can do using the GameSir app. So what I've got here is the Red Magic AS Pro. This is an awesome gaming phone with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. It's also got a built-in cooling fan. Everything clears the G8 controller, and it fits very nicely. I mean, it really fills out this whole controller. Now, when it comes to the GameSir app, you can download it from Google Play. We're going to go ahead and launch it here. From the main menu, it does give you some suggestions on games to play. It'll also populate all of the games that you have installed on your phone. And as a lot of us already know, with Android, there are some games that just don't support controllers. Luckily, the GameSir app does have a mapper built-in. We'll take a look at that in just a second. But there's a lot more to it. We can remap the built-in controls. We can map those rear buttons. We can change the dead zones on the analog sticks and the triggers. Plus, we can update the firmware. When I initially plugged this in, it notified me that there was a firmware update. I just went through with the process, updated the firmware. Taking a closer look at the GameSir app, from our installed applications at the very bottom, update firmware, we've also got a gamepad tester or a button tester. So if we go into here, we can just make sure that everything's working properly. And these triggers actually have some really good throw to them. But if you want to remap any of this or change your dead zones, we'll go to key settings. And from here, we can map those rear buttons very easily. So just go ahead and remap that. Moving over to my analog stick section. Moving over to our analog stick section, we can change the dead zone from here. At zero, I mean it's basically going to work like a D-pad, one button all the way over. Or if we go to 100%, we've got quite a lot of control here. And they'll zero right out because, after all, they are hall-based. And I'm really glad they use the larger analog sticks as opposed to the uh, switch size. These are the ones that I prefer in any controller that I use. Moving over to our triggers, again, we can change the dead zone from here. So if you don't want as much throw, you can actually set this up a lot lighter, or we can go all the way up. And this is where I like to have it. For racing games especially, this is really good for the gas and brake. You want to do some drifting. You can also set it up as a hair trigger if you wanted to. Now, the one thing that was concerning me getting this right out of the box was the D-pad itself isn't using conductive pads. It's using switches, so I want to move over and test it out. And for this, we're going to go with some Wii emulation using the Dolphin emulator. This is one of those emulators you do have to set your controller up, but as you can see, it is working. I like the action on this D-pad. It actually has a really nice roll to it, but uh, it's kind of concave in the middle. So it makes it a bit harder to slide across the D-pad. If you want to use this for fighting games, I would suggest kind of getting used to rolling that D-pad. But like that, it actually works great. The next thing I wanted to demonstrate here was the on-screen key mapper. Genshin Impact on Android just doesn't have native controller support. You do have to use a third-party app, but we've got the GameSir app installed here. And as soon as we launch a game that actually doesn't support a controller, it'll let us know. It'll go to what they call G mode. And in G mode, once we get into the game, we can map our physical buttons to on-screen touch points. And they also offer pre-made profiles. And that's what I did here for Genshin Impact. I just downloaded their Genshin Impact profile, kind of set up everything perfectly for me. Screen sizes may be a little different on different devices, so you may have to adjust it, but it's really easy to do. And now we've got a physical controller working in Genshin Impact on Android. I'll protect us. And the final thing I wanted to show off here was iPhone 15 compatibility. I've got the iPhone 15 Pro Max here, and since we've got USB Type-C, we can plug it directly into the G8. And this fits great. It clears those cameras just fine. But there's one thing we need to do here. We actually need to put this into kind of iPhone mode. And to do that, we're going to hold the menu and the start button up top. This is going to put us into a mode that'll work with the iPhone. And again, all of the Apple Arcade games do support controllers, so the G8 will work. And these analog sticks are so smooth and accurate here on iOS. Um, I can get right in, do some headshots, 
This feels great on the iPhone. So overall, I think the GameSir G8 is a great mobile controller. Love the fact that we've got hall based sticks and triggers. They feel absolutely amazing. The buttons also feel really good. Now, one thing I would love to see changed here is using a conductive pad underneath that D-pad or just a smoother D-pad when you're using switches or dome switches. But other than that, I think it's a solid controller. And if you're interested in learning a little more, I'll leave some links in the description. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.